Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today we're gonna to be putting together Bruno and I have some fun new products to use with Bruno, so I'm super excited about that. Anyway, before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, please do, I totally appreciate it. Um, all right, so now we're gonna talk about, so I've been gone, I've been at NAMTA for that convention working uh, for Artist Spree and also had a moment to look around and this is what I found. So this is that pink and mane. I wanna make sure that you can see it. So this is their flock. And when I walked by the booth, I saw it, but I was so confused. I didn't understand how it was used. Um, and you know, for Bruno, I wanted to do the rats to you know come to life, make it kind of furry-ish um, and all of that. And I was, I was going to accomplish that by using HTV flock sublimating on it, which I have right here. I tried it with these and I think they look great. They look, you know, they look better than cardstock, right? And there's like a, a change in colors. Like it kind of looks, you know, a little bit more real than just cardstock. But I mean, this was, this was a lot of work. <laughs> I didn't know that, so basically, you guys, please tell me in comments if you've seen this. I, I would love to know. Um, so basically, it comes like this. This is an adhesive sheet. It's double-sided, okay? So I cut this through the Cricut, so you can see the outline of the rats, right? And what I'm gonna do is basically peel off the top layer of the sticker, and I'm gonna put down this flock. So I think you can kind of see like the flock feels like suede. So I'm gonna do like light brown rats. I'm gonna do a darker one. And then I also use this, you, you can kind of see it's fluffy, right? Like even from here, you can see that. Um, I did it on, give me one second. Oh geez, where did I put it? See, this is what happens when you, you when your projects take multiple days. Um, I also did it for his leather sandals, and I can't find the pieces. I'm gonna find it right now. I put it aside because I wanted to test if it flakes, and it's only because I wanted to test it for myself. But I know it can't flake because I was touching their uh, samples, and I was you know rubbing it, and it wasn't coming off. It was staying. So darn it. Okay, we're gonna get started though. So let's do this. Um, give me one second. I'm looking to see what I'm unplugging. And we're gonna start this off the mat like we always do. With the black background, we're gonna put this together and as we hit the special pieces, that's how we're gonna learn about them. <laughs> and I can't wait, like I said, I can't wait to hear from you guys whether this is um, not news or news to you. So what's awesome is, and let me show you this color. Actually, I think I'm gonna use this gray and the brown for the rats, but we'll see. Um, what is cool is Pink and Main. So you can just go on their website, Pink and Main. They also do this in glitter, which I was so excited because the glitter, I actually thought it was, I asked them like, well, what, um, what's the, the weight of the cardstock? Like, uh, you know, I was gonna buy some because the colors were brilliant and they were colors I hadn't seen before. And it was the same thing. It was this, but with glitter powder. Um, so I don't have, I don't believe they gave me any glitter, but let me show you what, did they, what they did give me. I mean, this is just like, oh, like so pretty, right? Look at all these colors. and. Um, this is all flock though, so you know sometimes that's not the look that we're going for. Um, so I believe this whole stash. Oh wait a minute. Nope, this is flock as well. Um, I believe my whole stash is flock, which you know I've asked for the glitter, so we'll be able to test that out as well. Okay, so let's put this bad boy together. Before we get to these pieces, I'm gonna put this aside. These are all the rats. And put it aside and okay I thought I stopped recording okay uh, with our black background right we always want to put it down piece it together and see what we have and it's gonna look like this so he's 30 inches nothing crazy here um, and let me see this looks okay so I think we have everything Right, let's see. Does it all fit? That rat. 
it it's also it's almost so symmetrical that I want to make sure okay yeah this is right and then let me see his hair is this right yep this is right so now that I have the it's only four pieces right I'm gonna flip it over this way he is 30 inches because I knew I wanted to do all those special things I didn't want to make him like gigantic either okay so I'm gonna flip him over because we want to tape from behind right so I want to grab these two pieces, flip everything over. And normally, if you're good at this stuff, you can flip it over before me, but I always have to like, I've got to look at it the right way and then I slowly flip it over. <laughs> okay, so what you want to do is, I always work with two pieces at one time, right? I'm going to lift this one piece up, push it against the other one so that they are as flushed as possible and then I'm going to tape it down okay and do it right here and then I'm going to take this set with this one and do the same thing so like this um and I always say this with off the mat anyone can do it and make it big right but our goal is to use you know the 12 by 12 cardstock because I think that's what everyone has in their art room and um, to make it big, but also seamless, right? We can make it big, but if there's a seam running down the face, um, it feels, you know, distracting and it's not the look that I'm going for. So we want to make it big and we also still wanna make it a wow factor. I would prefer, for instance, if I could do something 30 inches with a seam or I can do something 28 inches without a seam, the 28 inches is going to be more of a wow factor than the 30 inches with the seam, I promise you. So like, I, I want big, but I also want good. And I know for a fact that it's true <laughs> because I did that Jasmine, if you remember, if, you, if you've been following me long enough, I did that Jasmine at 61 inches and I regret it every day. Like it just did not look good. And had I just done her at 48 inches, which is still four feet, right? It would have been flawless. And I think, you know, and I, so I'm a firm believer that, you know, that's what I believe. That I, I think seamless and flawless is going to beat out huge every single time. Okay, so let's put the pieces down. And so, you know, Bruno lived in the walls, right? So I, I'm tempted to be a little bit more like artistic with this piece. Like I wanna maybe do a little bit of the flock to outline some of the curls in his hair. I don't know how I feel about that yet like for sure so that will be like a last minute ad but you know just to give you like that dust feel i don't know <laughs> i don't know if i'm right um but let's start putting him down so what i want to do right here is i want to put down the pieces so that i can eye things and make some adjustments uh, you know with the file there it always seems like it's so obvious where it should go but it's not like things shift and um i like to put it down and then as i'm gluing things down that i have a moment to still make some adjustments so that if something is off i can make adjustments everywhere else surrounding it and that's going to help me minimize like my mistakes because if you keep going um, the same way because you didn't readjust, then one part, let's say this part, right? Let's say I messed up here and it has a big gap like that. That means everything below and everything on top, we, we can make some adjustments. If I made the mistake here, I can move this face down a little bit so that I can spread this difference to other areas. If I keep going the way I was going, right, then I would just all of a sudden one piece would have a bigger gap and it would look horrible and very distracting. So we don't want that. So that's why <laughs> we're putting down all our pieces before we glue because we wanna make sure that everything looks good and everything is where it should be. See, like that doesn't, that feels weird to me. Um, but we'll know in a second. All right. And I went, it's so funny, you may notice, 
Um, I have my nails done because I was at Artist, um, Artist Breeze booth and I wanted to, um, you know, look nice. But now it's so hard to pick up everything. That extra layer of gel or whatever it is, <laughs> I'm struggling with it. So, all right. So you see, as I put this piece down, I'm realizing that this piece needs to be moved up a little bit. This one needs to be over a little bit. Maybe something like that. All right. So we're going to continue. Now, with this green part, you may be wondering what the heck that is. I um, slice that out because we're going to have a rat. I'm going to put a rat there and I'm going to have it moving, moving back and forth a little bit. And we'll see how that works out. <laughs> All right, let's put this down. Down more. Okay. Not sure why things aren't looking good. Um, you know, this one, these two pieces, I think we can glue this so that it's one. Um, so I'm going to grab my Barely Art glue for a second. Okay. I'm just going to turn this around. Okay, so I haven't used the glue at all since I've been back. So let me, I'm going to get the needle that goes with this kit. So give me one second. Okay, so it comes with like a bunch of needles and I just love, I love Barely Art. It's so fun um, while we're doing this. I'm gonna poke, oh. They're a really fun design team. I know they just announced Design Team 6, so you've missed, you know, the opportunity to join, but um, for next time, um, for Design Team 7, I'll always let you know when it's coming up and I don't know if I'll stay on. That's always like, who knows? But um, but I've been on design teams two through six now. So you can tell it's a lot of fun. It's like um, one of the few consistent, uh, consistencies. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna put this down. Um, I, I just like the precision tip and it dries quickly, but there's still a moment where I can make adjustments. So while it dries quickly, there I'm not saying like instantly, there's still a chance for you to um, pick up and, and move and shift. So um, I can't remember which project it was, but I made the mistake where I had to like peel it off and you know, put it back down. And it was just funny because um, yeah, I was still able to do that. So, and it dries clear. So there you have it. That's why I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna put that down, put this down over here. Clearly things need to be adjusted. I don't know what's going on here. I feel like that should go there. This should go up a little bit. I don't know. There's something something funky going on. I can't figure it out. Um, okay, he's got... Shoot. Where are those pieces? Oh, hold on. Here we go. I'm like, I cut... You know, I hate it when I cut on the wrong and I wasn't paying attention. So I hit the release button and it didn't cut all the way through. I would have cut it one more time but now is too late. So, um, I'm gonna do a video, just so you know, because we're talking right now. Um, I'm gonna do a video on all the all my finds from Namta. Um, there were so many vendors, and there were only about maybe, I would say about five products that I was super excited about. So I'm gonna do a video on all of that, just to give you guys a rundown. Um, things that you can get and things that you know I'm going to be using in the next few projects if not like constantly like you know just a tool in my in my toolbox basically all right I hate this 
but this happens and happens to the best of us. Um, I should just get, oh, here we go. My little thing. I mean, it's cut like 80% of the way. So it should give you that groove to just follow, but nope. I spoke too soon. I cut off just a little bit, but that's okay. Oh geez, I did it again. Okay. So here's that part. I know we have a few more pieces. This video is going to be a while because I've got to get all these pieces out and then we're going to do the fun rats. Okay, this is going a little bit better. And so I would love your thoughts on this too while we're just doing nonsense work right here. Um, at Nanta, which I'll talk about in the next video too, I feel like there was a huge separation like I didn't there weren't too many um, too many crafters that I follow that I recognize there I got to see Auntie Tay and um, that was exciting for me I got to meet Ashley Falco in person so we've been friendly but like you know not in real life because we didn't know each other in real life but now we do and then um, I saw of course the beautiful mommy Lay but other than that everyone else there i felt like was more of a um a card maker or like a scrapbooker and they make beautiful things but they're just not on my radar like i don't follow them until now i i did pick up a few that i you know am interested in but um so i feel like there's just that that separation between the different types of crafters like we have the the ones that have been around for a long time and know about things like this flock stuff that I don't know about um, but it's not new right I don't think that was a new product it was just beautiful um, so I feel like we need to um, to sit down and have a powwow <laughs> and for them to show me like have a brain dump so that I, I want to learn all their tips and tricks because I feel like sometimes I've been you know coming up with harder things than I than I needed to so all right I am moving this here I don't know what's going on I feel like I can't concentrate okay um this piece right here is what is one of the sleeves it's this sleeve right here um, and then we've got the hand. And I think it's this one. Why does that not look right? Oh, because it's up here and it's got a piece down here. I'm telling you, I think I need to take a break and eat dinner or something. Oh, wrong side. Okay. <laughs> So this is how it goes, right? Sometimes it's smooth and sometimes I feel like I'm using all my brain power to figure this out. Um, all right. So once you get some pieces down, like maybe we can put the hand down. Um, we can do that in a little bit. Let's see. So now we've got the digits. So this goes right here. And this little guy goes right here. Oops. So I almost feel like here where we know this is what it's going to look like, right? Like we know this is here, this is here. I might just start gluing this down so that we have some pieces down like that. Okay, so I'm going to grab my glue. I'm going to grab, let me move this out of the way. Um, I'm gonna grab this little guy because I wanna be able to pick it up without moving everything. So like, I'm gonna do this. 
And then once I have it up, I can use my tweezers to hold it like so. And then I'm gonna put my glue on. I know this is crazy work, right? Very, very detailed. Now, I would also recommend don't ever put your glue like this because it could drip onto your pieces and it would make you really, really sad. Um, and I've, you know, I've definitely done it. So I'm do as I say, not as I do. All right, so this little guy is down. That's gonna be beautiful. I'm gonna get this little guy right here. Oh, you can't even see it there. Um, this one's big. I'm gonna hold it like this. I wanna make sure that I get the ends And it doesn't need to be thick, I just need to have glue. You can see how light it is? I don't even know if you can see that. Okay. It might be easier to see on this. So you can see it's really thin. So we're going to see if I have a rat that fits right here. So the rats, I did a couple different rats. So it's going to be hard to figure out. I think this one's too big. This is not the right size, or is it? Oh, it is the right size. So look at... <laughs> He's on a little flipper thingy so that he can move a little bit. It's these wobblies. Okay, so here's, here's the first one. Let me find his new one that we're gonna put flock on, okay? So I cut a few, let's see which one he is. He is, is he this one? I can't tell, I think he's that one. Cause could he be this one? No, I think he's this one. Okay, so it's this guy right here. So what I'm gonna do is and I did it again. I didn't make sure that it cut all the way through. So this is a little bit thicker. And so it's working. You can see I can punch through because I wanna do double, it's basically double-sided tape, right? I'm gonna put this down here for instance. So this is not the right wrap because he doesn't fit. Or wait, does he? Oh, he does fit. He fits right there. So, I'm almost curious if I should do him, actually, hold on, let me find the exact match. I might have the exact match, right? So if I do it, if I cut the black outside like this, then I can make him wobbly. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put him on this, and I'm gonna put this down, right, like that. So I'm going to see if I can peel off this layer, okay? So I peeled it off. I'm gonna put it down. And then I'm gonna peel off this top layer, which is gonna make it sticky, leave the sticky part exposed, and we're gonna put the flock down. But in the meantime, let's do the rest of him so that we have the whole piece down and he's ready to go. So unfortunately, I didn't do a good job with cutting this. So I'm wondering, let me see if I could just pull it off. No.
hold on. It's kind of going. This is what happens when you don't pay attention when you're cutting, right? All right, let me pull this piece off so that it's a little bit easier for me to work with. And so maybe I'll just show you one rat <laughs> because this is going to take a while. Now I'm going to want to save this because that's tape that I can use for another project. So I want to make sure that I, um, I have more to use next time. Okay. I wonder if I can, I wonder if I can like scrub it down so that it sticks to the front piece more. And let me see if I can pull it back. No, it's not working. Okay. Okay, let me score it. Where's my all right, I'm going to cut through this. Right, you know what? I feel like I could do it like this because that back part's gonna be exposed and we're gonna tape it down, right? So it doesn't need to be exact. Let me pull this around and see what we can do. Growing pains. Okay, let's see. Okay. So clearly I can pull that away. Okay. All right, so here's my rat. Pulling off the sticky piece in the middle. Okay. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the back, right? And the back is going to stick to my black background. So let's do that. I'm gonna pop this down. Let's see if I can do it. Okay. Probably not the best project for me to do with my fake nails. <laughs> All right, I've got it. So it's sticky here. So I know the sticky piece is staying down on the top layer and I'm going to try to Peel all this up. Okay, it's good. So I'm gonna lean it down like this just to give me, just so that, you know, kind of like whenever we're pulling away any kind of transfer tape, it's easier that we're not um, competing with it, right? So I'm gonna pull it like this. And see how far I can get. Okay. Gonna hold this down like this. Okay, where am I going? Okay, I need this piece right here. It's coming, it's coming. All right, here we go. All right, yay. Okay, so we don't want the eyes, so I'm gonna poke that through.
also don't want the eyebrows. So I'm gonna poke that through right here too. And this is kind of hard to see. I know you guys have to kind of just basically trust in what I'm doing. Okay, so I've got the sticky part down like this, right? You can see it's sticking to my fingers. I'm now gonna put this piece down. So move this over a little bit. So I have a little bit more that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Sort of, sort of. Let's try to match everything up. Okay, we've got it down. Oh my gosh, how exciting. Okay, let's see what this is gonna look like, right? I'm gonna get, um, I'm going to push this down. Just to make sure that it's sticking to the black background, right? Okay, then I'm going to pull it up and then I want a scratch piece of paper underneath. So give me just one second to pull to get something. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna work on top of everything else. All right, here is our piece, right? So let's pull off this top layer and you can see the stickiness. You can see the difference between where it's sticky and where it's not, right? So we're gonna pull all this off. And you'll have to forgive me, this is really the first time that I'm testing out this. I know I love this product, but we're gonna figure out like how to you know, minimize everything. Okay, minimize all the issues. All right, so I am gonna go with this gray. And it's gonna be a gray rat. And you, do you see, like, I feel like you can feel the texture through, <laughs> through my screen. All right, so I am going to Get this little scooper and you know what I don't know let me try this too okay that's not gonna work because of the shape okay so I'm going to oh my gosh look at that do you see that it's there's so much texture I'm just in love and I was told that all of this can go right back in this container again. So, um, you know, it's not like we're gonna waste it all here. But I'm just gonna put this down. Okay, I'm kind of patting it down just to make sure it sticks. so excited this was I mean this product I was just super super excited I kept staring at them <laughs> okay so I'm gonna pick this up and I'm gonna try to put some of it back I mean most of it's gonna go on the paper but wherever I can I'm just going to put it back Oh, I mean, look at it. It's good and it feels good. All right, so we've got one rat down. So this rat compared to this one, you can kind of see like I have more um, consistent coloring um, and it looks really good. Okay, I'm, I'm excited about this piece. Okay, so this I don't wanna waste, so I'm gonna flicker, 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 and then I'm gonna put this back in, of course, right? So. Oh, 
want to save this as much as possible. And you can see, I'm sure of it, the bottle's going to fill right back up again. I'm going to gently tap because I don't want to waste this sucker. This is too good. But I would love it. Please post in comments if you've used something like this or if you've actually used this particular product and let me know how you use it because I need to, you know, we need to figure out the best way to use this product. But look, it filled back up. Okay, I am super excited about that wrap. So we know that's gonna go there. We're gonna do the rest of the pieces and we're gonna have it moving. He looks good. I'm trying to think like, right? Let me know what you think in comments. Okay, so we've got that piece. <laughs> we've gotta move on. But uh, let's see, um, so this part is down. We know this is gonna go here and he's gonna look awesome. Um, okay, we've got the other wrap over there. Let's see, we need, <laughs> my nails, I know I love them, but, okay, let's see, this goes over, these are pants, can you see down there, let me move this up a little bit, oh my gosh, I'm making a face. So we might on this side, because we know exactly where the cuffs go, we might put down the pants before we put down everything else. Just because this, we don't need to make any adjustments. We can use this as our like guardrail, our beginning like guidelines, and then we can put the rest down and um, work around that. So there's that piece. There's this piece. So this needs to go up a little bit more right okay so that looks good and then we've got legs we've got his skinny 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 legs um so i'm super excited because i you know so far we've done maribel and we've done isabella and now we have bruno all three of them have different color skin tones um and all three of them came from my skin tone pack, my curated skin tone pack. So I'm super excited about that. Okay, and this one's coming across very light. In person, he's got more of like, um, I don't know how to describe it, more of a peachy tone. Okay, let's look at his sandals real quick. So I'm gonna glue this down because this we know it goes like this. So let's pick up the legs. it too long okay here we go okay we're gonna pick up this piece now because he was you know like I said living in the walls um, living with his rat friends I want to add some texture to this hair that gives that like flock feel too, kind of like that dust. So I think I'm going to use this precision tip, you know, like trace it a little design to go with the curls and then, um, and then add the flock. So we'll see how that's going to work. All right, let me find those pieces. What, where could have I put it? So many places where it could be, right? So here's the brown flock for his shoes. And let me... So that you can... It's like suede. It feels so good. Okay. <laughs> I know it's ridiculous. Um, so this is going to go like this. Okay. 
and then let me scroll down a little bit. Okay, just so that I can see. All right, move that mouse over. Okay, um, and then this little guy goes like this, and then we've got his feet right here. So look at that difference in the brown to this, right? Like that looks like the suede of some shoes. So yeah, I love it. So this goes like this and like this. So let's move this to get this in place and then we'll glue this down as well. I mean, look at that. That is so awesome, right? Oh my gosh. I. I'm in love. This is so, I love it when things work out. This is just, it's so gorgeous. So let me tell you again what that is. At Pink and Main, you buy the adhesive sheets so that you can cut on your Cricut the exact design. And then you're going to basically um, up, tape it to the piece, right? And then um, I think it's easier to cut out the same pieces in the brown that you would want and then put tape on that. Then peel off the top layer and apply the flock to it. I am so happy with how this is turning out. Okay, we're gonna glue down his toe. Okay. And in case you're wondering if you somehow forgot, <laughs> This file is from the Salty Yankee. So you can just go um, saltyyankee.com. You can find her on Instagram. I follow her, she's awesome. I just, the details, I love it. And wait till you see when they send me the glitter. The glitter was so pretty. Um, and it's just gonna give us a little bit more variety in colors. And also if you think about it, we can also like mix up the glitter. So like, um, you know, a little bit more of a blend than just either you have yellow cardstock or you have pink cardstock, but maybe, you know, being able to apply the glitter, you can actually apply some designs um, or just some different colors or blending the colors. So that's gonna give us a lot more to choose from. Oh my gosh. I'm super happy with that, as you can tell, right? Um, let me move this up. We're gonna do the other foot. Um, so this side I haven't done, so let's put down, here are the pieces. So we can do this together. So I did a dark brown for his flip-flop to begin with. But you, um, let me see, okay, let me pull this up so you can really see this, so we can compare, okay? So, if we did not have the flock, this is what it would look like. It would have been this dark brown, um, and let me get his toes over. I probably would have gone back and did a lighter brown, right? Because I would have realized like, oh, that's just not, I'm not seeing much of a difference. But even changing the different color, it's really not gonna give me this texture that is actually coming through as suede or like a leather feel to it. Like, and it's, you know, it just gives you more colors and more options. Like I am just so excited about this. Okay, so now I'm gonna glue down I'm gonna glue down those toes while I have my glue bottle out. I'm gonna hold it like this. Okay. 
And with a new term on Barely Art, that means I'm gonna have three bottles to give out soon. Oh geez. Oh boy. I moved everything. So we will be doing that soon. So keep an eye out for that. Um, also the other thing to keep an eye out for is um, I'm gonna be hitting 40,000 soon on Instagram. So I'll see what I can do with that. And then because you guys are following me on Face or on YouTube, um, we have a special announcement next week. So it's gonna be something that will be available to purchase and I'm super excited it's not the paper I'm sorry <laughs> I wish it was the paper I'm working on that I'm actually working on something just totally new for the paper but it's something else and it's really really cool so please keep that in mind next Thursday Thursday the um, let's see seven the 21st the 21st we're gonna be doing something that's all I can say okay here is our piece we're gonna be doing the brown one and I believe the brown one is not this one that's too light look at that look this is the darker brown which shoot, let me see if I have it in here it's not over there which means it's gotta be somewhere here. Oh no, I'm not gonna be able to do it if I can't find the right brown. This is not it, this has a glitter to it and the one that I chose does not have glitter. Okay, so we might not be able to do that one. But you get the idea, right? I could, in fact, I could glue it down. I wonder if that would be easier. Let me think about that. If it's glued down in place, then when I put the sticker on, yeah. So I'm gonna glue it in place and actually take pictures so that you guys can see the difference between the two. And I think sometimes it's easier like in photos, like what you like more, right? So let's do that. the tweezers my fingers are not good right now so let's get that look at that that texture oh my gosh It is so awesome on my on my camera. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm, it's like I'm lying or something. Okay, I'm gonna move this a little bit, and we're gonna glue this down as well. Okay, I think that's all in place. So let's do this. Do this. Um, I did not sleep well at all during Yamta. Like I was surviving on like two hours of sleep a night and I powered through it because, you know, I pride myself on being a professional whenever I'm being, um, you know, like someone's paying me to do good work and I'm going to do the good work like that. I'm not going to be late. I'm well, I'm never late, but, um, you know, I'm not going to be late. I'm going to do the best that I can. Um, so I powered through until I got home and it was just like collapse time. <laughs> I've been in recovery mode since 
And so this is actually my first real project since coming back. Um, and I should have, shoot. Okay, let's see how good this, this glue is, right? I wanna get rid of this little piece right here. So I lifted it up and I'm gonna glue back down. And that same glue is working because you can see it's not lifting, it's still in. So that's my whole point. Like, yes, it dries quickly, but like not so quick where you're just, you know, you're, you're sprinting to like make it work. It's gonna work. Oh my gosh. Tell me, right? This is so much better. Um, but I do, in the pictures, some of it feels like I could add a little bit more, but it's not sticky anymore and it's not coming off. So I don't think I could add any more. Okay, so we've got that down. Now, what I'm gonna do is, what I would recommend is, because this has already taken so long, the rest you know, right? We're gonna be putting the pieces down. We're gonna be gluing it. I will save this piece for once it's done. And then we're going to do the foam board and the and the moving rat on the same tutorial, okay? All right, I hope that was fun and interesting and that you got to see a new product, which I'm super excited about. This, I will definitely be incorporating in more projects whenever it feels right. Um, I want to be able to use it. Um, all right, so that's all I have for you. Comments, questions, and please let me know if you've seen this before. And also, if you're happen to be you know an old school crafter if you feel like there are things like this that i need to know please reach out um, i'm all about it so all right i'm gonna go have a great evening don't forget next thursday i have a huge announcement and um yeah all right have a great weekend